going on guys rabbit is back once again with the cmp 100 210 this time i think we found the hidden gem for this gpu and that is dynex so we're going to take a look at some hash rates see how well this gpu does perform on dynex and compare it to some of the other gpus out there so let's take a look at that all right so coming into our hash rates here i got a couple extra settings than we usually do because i was wondering you know how well this does perform exactly as well as in yellow here you can see this is what i got from someone else to test out as well here so coming in here we can see our 1260 locked core clock 300 offset 300 memory 1200 on the locked core clock 300 offset 300 memory we got 1305 locked core clock 300 offset 300 memory then we got our 1470 core 300 offset 300 memory i did go higher on the core this time than usual because i was seeing you know decent gains in hash rate here so i did go upwards to 1500 core 300 offset 300 memory and then we got our standard 1110 core 300 offset 300 memory and then 1110 core 300 offset and zero memory just to see if memory does anything for the algorithm now coming in here looking at our most efficient setting here we have 1260 locked core clock 300 on the offset and plus 300 on the memory that did work out to be about 7.44 kilohash at 112.9 watts at the wall here that works out to a hash to watt ratio of 65.899 hashes per watt of power used. So that was a decent efficient setting here. Next coming in at 12, uh, 1200, 300 offset, 300 memory, we got 6.79 kilo hash, 105.3 watts. That was a hash to watt ratio of 64.482. And this is the setting that uh, someone mentioned I should try out, that's what they're using. And it was 1305, 300 offset, 300 memory. That was 7.83 kilo hash. 124.9 watts at 62.69 hashes per watt. So obviously below our other previous settings in terms of efficiency, we did see a bit more hash rate, but long-term it's really hard to decide if this should be used or not. It's totally up to you and your power price. Uh, 1470 core, 300 offset, 300 memory. We did see over eight kilo hash here at 8.18 kilo hash. 133.7 watts, that was 61.181 hashes per watt of power used here. Cranking this up to 1500 core, 300 offset and 300 memory, we did get 8.24 kilohash at 140 watts. That was 58.857 hash to watt ratio there. And then coming into 1110 core, 300 offset, 300 memory, that was 6.77 kilohash at 104.7 watts. That works out to be 64.66 hashes per watt of power. And then removing that memory here with the same settings as previously, we lost a little bit of hash rate at 6.45 kilohash. We we're down to 100.3 three watts and that was a 64.307 hashes per watt of power use so now let's kind of compare our efficient setting here versus some other gpus so coming into the rtx 4090 using numbers based on hash rate.no we can see that allegedly the 4090 on fish hash is doing about 13.6 kilo hash so you know we're doing almost I guess 75% of that here, it is saying efficiency of 55.38, which we're seeing a lot better efficiency on the CMP card as it's using 247 watts here. So coming back into this, you were only using 112 watts and 7.4 kilohash. So two of these would essentially be mining over what a 4090 would be and still using less power than a single 4090 which is a pretty big deal here as these cards are only coming in at about 149 dollars and the 4090s are 1599 so for dynex this thing is definitely looking like a monster as it is pretty cheap here and it has better efficiencies over the 4090 now looking at the 3070 here it is saying about 5.2 kilo hash at 140 four watts with an efficiency of 50.29 so we are definitely getting a decent amount more hash rate here at not much extra power here and we are definitely a lot more efficient than what the 3070 is telling us on hash rate dot and no so again this is coming in cheaper than the 3070s you could potentially get two of these for the price of a single 3070 so it is pretty 
pretty insane on how well this GPU is doing, especially for a cost basis. All right, guys, there is our Dynex hash rates and comparison versus some of the other GPUs out there. Let me know your thoughts and opinion, but it's definitely looking like for Dynex, this GPU is the dominant force on it. This is definitely a hidden gem for Dynex. Ultimately, it comes down to how well does Dynex do in the future and if you believe into it. Because, you know, we did see in the last video, Fish Hash was decent, but a single GPU only good on maybe one or two algorithms doesn't really make massive versatility. And the only way you can get these right now from Respect, link down in the description, is you have to trade in your game stuff so you can trade in your gaming gpus you know all your 3070s 3060 ti's and so on or even motherboards cpus power supplies it seems like they're taking everything these days and converting them to cmps now depending on when you do watch this video they may be sold out they are running very low on stock they are trying to get more of them in for that because they do seem to be a lot very popular right now but they're also trying to get in the hx 170s as well as a bunch of other mining cards from amd and so on so they're definitely trying to improve their stock but again right now they're definitely almost sold out of these gpus so you're gonna have to act fast now personally i don't think it's worth the fomo here that's only really good on a couple select algorithms definitely you need memory intensive algorithms i still have to test out ravencoin i don't think it's gonna do that well because obviously this doesn't have the best core and it. it's mostly based off the memory here but it is a decent price here but again moving forward here i think i'm probably not going to be fomoing into these i'm most likely going to be waiting for 5090s to see how they perform first but it's totally your decision so again check that link in the description if you're looking for these gpus dynex is a hidden gem i'll see you on the next one rabbit out